Technology is an important source of economic development and political power, and therefore the geopolitical power of states, such as Russia. The Kremlin has also been aware of the fact that technology and innovation potential is a great power in reaching its strategic competitive goals for many years. Russia also sees it as a necessity to gain control over his own people. Therefore, it is aware that the technological power is an existential necessity in both domestic and foreign policy. Technological superiority is a potentially game-changing and even growing advantage in its tangible or intangible senses. It's an element of balance, or in some cases, imbalance, that is increasingly making its weight felt in the equation of Russia, EU, USA and China. For example, the European Union is predominantly in a position based on data protection. In 2018, the European Union General Data Protection Regulation, which is known as GDPR, which includes extremely vital regulations for companies and brings serious sanctions, entered into force. On the other hand, as a requirement of the development model in the United States, we see that an approach that prioritizes the commercial goals of companies is adopted. On the other side of the equation, we have China. The state has unlimited control over all data. And moreover, it's claimed that China will control 30% of all data produced worldwide by 2030. It is observed that there is a strong competition between USA, China and the European Union in this field. In addition, the rising power of global digital companies and the radical changes brought about by new technologies have a transformative effect on foreign policy and geopolitics. In order to achieve technological superiority, the first condition is for countries to be not only users but also producers of technology. We last experienced this situation during the chip crisis that broke out during the pandemic period. The supply-demand imbalance which caused a major crisis, especially in the first quarter of 2021, prompted all countries in all sectors, and especially automotive, to put this issue on their agenda. The world's largest chip manufacturers are Japan, Taiwan, China and South Korea. And after these countries, the USA takes its place. This problem, which we face today due to the pandemic and the production problem in China, may also be experienced in the near future due to embargoes. And in such a case, the hand of the producing countries will be stronger than ever. Computers with high processor power, which are the basic requirement of all new generation technologies, will also profit the companies and countries that are the manufacturers of those processors. This area, which has made a great contribution to the defense industry, is currently seen as one of the most strategic areas for countries. We see that unmanned vehicles and drones are gaining more and more importance, both in the technology war and in the field. And it's a great power not to be dependent on foreign sources in these technologies. However, reaching this goal requires serious investments. And Moscow is not in the first place in this regard. However, it's in a strong struggle with Washington and Beijing for economically and militarily. Interesting shifts in power. I will be delighted to talk about these issues in detail with you.